What is up everybody? This is Lyle No Hippie Trucking and Transportation coming at you from the Salt Lake City Terminal. Right now I'm outside of Bay 10. I caught a nail in my steer tire so I don't know if we're going to be patching that or getting a new tire or whatever the situation is but I probably got that damn nail here on the Salt Lake City uh, Terminal. Anyway, had a chance to uh, meet a bunch of people out here in Salt Lake City and I do appreciate all the love being shown, man. It made me feel right at home, you know what I'm saying? I have 10, 20 people talking to you and everything. Uh, so definitely felt uh, some good vibes from that. And uh, that's what's up with that. Waiting to pick up my uh, trainee. Should be here about 7 p.m. tonight. So uh, looking forward to that had a question a while back somebody asked what were some of the most embarrassing things that have happened since I've been out on the road and I've done videos on these separately but I'm gonna put them both in this video because these were probably the two most embarrassing things that have happened to me one is trucking related and one is just kind of non trucking related so we're gonna get into that the second one's pretty funny but uh, first one I want to talk about is I'd probably been out driving for about two and a half weeks so my first run being uh, solo and I'm starting to feel myself at this point you know what I'm saying I've been hitting all these little docks and everything nothing too complicated a lot of Walmarts things like that so I'm feeling like you know I'm the man get a load from a place and I think it was called MDC Landover or maybe it was MDV Landover, but it was in Maryland. And this place was one of those uh, docks that was so tight that you had to put your trailer in the door and pull out. Otherwise, trucks wouldn't have the room to back in next to you. And the docks were pretty narrow as well. And it's one of those places where they have a little staging area so everybody kind of been staged for a while uh so when they started calling people you know they're pretty eager to hurry up and dock so they called me i see the dock it doesn't it looks challenging but i really wasn't it wasn't anything that i was too concerned about so anyway i pull up to the dock you know do your classic setup you know pull a little bit past the door you're getting into kind of turn up right a little bit you know then go left and kind of straighten out setup I thought was perfect next thing I know there's a yard a yard dog that's like hey man if you want I can move this trailer for you uh, so you can have more room I should have said no but what I did was said out of a little bit of fear I was like yeah if you can move that that'd be great now, for him to move that trailer, I had to move up and fuck my setup up at that point. So I did that, and uh, once my setup was messed up, rather than what I should have done was back all the way back up and then kind of reset up again, but I wasn't thinking like that. I was fighting so hard to get in this spot once I kind of got in that my transmission or you know how it says transmission clutch overheat and all this kind of stuff so now i'm broke down in the middle of an aisle i got all these truck drivers that have been waiting to pull into docks for like the last however many hours getting stacked up that can't get by me to get to their docks and uh, in the meantime i can't move my truck until the until the uh clutch kind of cools down so I'm sitting there for about 10 minutes before I could even uh, move out of their way. All in all, it probably took me about 40 minutes to get in this dock. Now, once I got in between the spots, I was a little bit off to, I think, the left to be fully centered. But there wasn't enough space up front to kind of straighten the trailer out because literally you had maybe like a half of a trailer anyway it was just super short now what i would have done nowadays is just pull back out of that spot and then kind of reset up a little bit and then back back in so that was embarrassing 
Next time was embarrassing was I was at Love's in Pueblo, Colorado, and uh, I was in training at this point, and I had been in the sleeper, but I heard my trainer pull into this Love's, so I'm like, okay, let me run in there and, you know, grab some stuff, whatever, so pull into this Love's, and uh, I'd been... I had maybe a couple more hours before my shift had started, so I had on the clothes I was going to be wearing for this next shift, and I had some shorts, but instead of buckling the, instead of uh, buttoning the top button, you know, I left that unbuckled, and then the belt I had on was kind of loose. So we walk into this Love's, and I think I got like a soda. I forget, it doesn't matter what I got. But this loves, if you've been there on the weekends, it's extremely busy. And it's not busy mainly with truckers. It's like a lot of, you know, regular people that go into this loves. So I'm standing in line. My trainer's like in front of me, people behind me. And uh, I'm holding on to the stuff with both hands. And my shorts fall all the way down to the ground. And I'm sitting there with these things, you know, with everything in my hands, shorts down on the ground. And then I got these people, you know, all around looking at this. And uh, all I could do was laugh. I mean, it, luckily I wasn't wearing my, you know, David Banner uh, Incredible Hulk underwear. They were all holy and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, it was just, it was probably funnier to see it. Everybody around there got a good laugh. I hurried up, pulled my pants back up, and uh, that was it. But those are probably the two most embarrassing uh, moments I've had while I've been out here on the road. Um, that is about it. Just waiting to pull in here, get this tire fixed so I can relax until uh, it's time for me to get my student maybe take him out to eat somewhere i'm not too familiar with salt lake city so maybe we won't leave the terminal i know they close the food here early so i don't know just want to get to know him a little bit before we get out there driving you know i just don't want to be raw dogging it you know picking him up and then just like all right drive so anyway that's kind of what's up anyway instead of rambling let me get off here i appreciate you guys stopping by no hippie trucking transportation hey check this out rich River Smoker, if you happen to be watching, I'm wearing your rich, or what do they call that? River Smokers West Virginia shirt. If you're into that barbecue and cooking lifestyle, run over and check out Rich's River Smokers West Virginia on YouTube. Leave a link in the description as well. Appreciate you guys stopping by, and I'm out.